Hello and welcome to this video abstract. My name is Alexander Rodriguez and together with my colleagues we reviewed the use of the drug metroleptin to treat generalized lipodystrophy. Lipodystrophy syndromes are a group of conditions characterized by the complete or partial loss of adipose tissue. Fortunately these diseases are quite rare and to give you an example of this, congenital generalized lipodystrophy has a prevalence of about 1 in 1 million. Patients with lipodystrophy present a number of severe metabolic abnormalities, including insulin resistance, hyperleptinemia, diabetes, hypertriglycidemia, and can develop into the serious non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. The metabolic phenotype of these patients is consistent with a genetic leptin deficiency, and leptin, repla leptin replacement therapy in these patients largely reverses these abnormalities. Metroleptin is a synthetic leptin hormone analog used in leptin replacement therapy. Due to the addition of a methionyl residue on the end terminus, the half-life is greatly extended. Metroleptin is administered as a subcutaneous injection and dosing is guided by the body weight of the subject beginning at the lower end of the dosing spectrum. Metroleptin has been associated with a number of treatment emergent adverse events and has been linked with T-cell lymphoma. However, no causal association has yet been established. And so here's how metroleptin works. In a healthy subject, adipose tissue is sufficient, meaning that leptin levels in the blood is sufficient, uh, leading to a normal metabolic profile. In patients with lipodystrophy, however, adipose tissue is um, completely absent, meaning that leptin is in very low levels, leading to a se severe metabolic dysfunction. Metroleptin subsumes the role of adipose tissue in producing leptin, and, can, and the exogenous supplementation of leptin potentiates the reversal of these metabolic abnormalities. A number of trials have investigated the safety and efficacy of metroleptin. In NIH-sponsored trials, metroleptin led to the improvement in glycemic control, lipid profile, and liver function, and our recent meta-analysis quantified these results. NIH, the NIH study authors noted that the efficacy of metroleptin was more related to the underlying severity of metabolic dysfunction rather than the type of lipodystrophy, and indeed, in direct comparatively, comparative analysis, showed that metroleptin has similar ability in partial and generalized forms. Positive effects were noted on bone mineral density. T-cell lymphoma is the most serious adverse event noted with metroleptin use. The lymphoma is probably more a feature of lipodystrophy as patients exhibit marked autoimmune destruction of adipocytes and is thus unlikely to be de novo. Anti-metroleptin antibodies occur frequently and this could potentially impact on drug efficacy. Overall, metroleptin is well tolerated, has a good safety profile and importantly is efficacious and it represents an opportunity to replace the need for the multiple medications to treat the metabolic ab underlying metabolic abnormalities of patients with lipodystrophy. And there's also potential for use of metroleptin in other leptin-deficient syndromes.